Hey guys, welcome to the maths problem of today. We're going to work on a thirds problem. If you would like to do this problem without any hints, then pause the video now and have a go. Otherwise, I'm going to start by giving you a hint, which is rationalize the denominator first. So the hint is pretty much step one of solving this problem. So I pause the video now, otherwise I'm going to give you the solution to the problem. Okay, so have a look at the first third, sorry, the first fraction that you're provided, and what we're going to do is rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, which is square root of 1 minus square root of 2. So the fraction remains equal and what we're doing is we're turning the bottom, the denominator into a rational number. So square root of 1, so now you're just going to do a binomial expansion. Square root of 1 times square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is... Uh, negative 2 because we have a negative sign here so it's 1 minus 2 on the bottom and then the other expansions will cancel each other out so uh, square root of 1 times uh, negative square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times square root of 1 will cancel each other out so the other expansions are cancelled out the top bit of this fraction is square root of 1 minus square root of 2 and then simplifying the bottom bits uh, then becomes negative 1 and the top is square root of 1 minus square root of 2 so we have done just we have rationalized the first fraction okay let's do the second one so the second one if we rationalize that then this becomes uh, and we're multiplying both the top and the bottom by the conjugate so multiply by the conjugate um, so the denominator becomes 2 minus 3 and the numerator is square root of 2 minus square root of 3 so uh, the numerator is square root of 2 minus square root of 3 and the denominator is negative 1 so you start to see a trend with all of these fractions and if you do the third fraction if you rationalize the denominator again you end up with square root of 3 minus square root of 4 over negative 1 and if you combine if you add all of these fractions together what's going to happen is so you can see at the bottom I'm adding all of these fractions together so I have the first term plus the second term plus the third term and then all the way to the final term which is uh, the square sorry negative 1 in the denominator and the top the numerator is square root of 9999 uh, minus square root of 2000 so then this becomes negative 1 at the bottom uh, and then the top becomes square root of negative 1 sorry square root of 1 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 minus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 4 and so on so if I continue this trend, what's going to happen is it's going to end up with uh, minus square root of nine one nine 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 plus square root of one nine nine nine. So that will delete the square root of one nine nine nine, and it's going to minus square root of two thousand in the end correct because if you have a look at the first term of each fraction 
it all gets cancelled out starting from the second fraction right so if you have a look at the second fraction the square root of 2 is cancelled out by the negative square root of 2 in the previous section so the square root of 1999 will be cancelled out by the negative square root of 1999 in the previous section so we're left with the square root of 2000 negative square root of 2000 which is here so then the answer then just becomes uh, square root of 1 minus square root of 2000 over negative 1 and now we can just type that simple expression into the calculator so I'm going square root of 1 minus square root of 2000 which is negative 43.72 so negative 43.72 1 over negative 1 so the answer is 43.721 round it to three decimal places okay thanks for watching guys see you next time